head of the Wagner Group accuses the Russian Minister of Defense of betrayal. The head of Russia's Wagner Group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, renewed his criticism of Russia's security establishment, saying there was a betrayal going on inside Russia. According to him, Russia's defense minister and chief of general staff of starving his fighters in Ukraine of ammunition, which he said amounts to an attempt to destroy the force. Prigozhin, who has for months fought openly with Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu over the conduct of the war, said his troops were suffering five times as many casualties due to a lack of support from Moscow. He also questioned why Russian forces had not launched offensives against the nearby cities of Slovyansk or Kramatorsk in eastern Ukraine to relieve the pressure on Bakhmut. But he said his forces would do whatever it takes to halt any Ukrainian attempt to retake the city. Prigozhin, with close ties to Russian President Vladimir Putin, said in an emotional audio statement released through his spokespeople that direct resistance from the Russian military is nothing other than an attempt to destroy Wagner. Emotional statements from Prigozhin and his fighters highlighted long brewing tensions between the Russian military and Wagner, which has unclear legal status because Russian law prohibits private military companies. Prigozhin said in a raised voice that Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu and Chief of General Staff Valery Gerasimov are handing out orders left and right not to supply Wagner with ammunition and or air transport. This can be likened to high treason in the very moment when Wagner is fighting for Bakhmut, losing hundreds of its fighters every day. Prigozhin said. Prigozhin also has repeatedly accused Russia's top military brass in recent months of incompetence.